Hello, everybody, and welcome to part three of Ahmad Didat, Great Answer to Christian Lady About Covering the Head of Women in Islam. Muslim, Sahih Muslim, I should say, 42127. Muhammad struck his favorite wife, Aisha, in the chest one evening when she left the house without his permission. Aisha narrates, he struck me on the chest, which caused me pain. So anytime a Muslim says 4 verse 34, says, beat you lightly, and that this is here, to, that verse is there to protect women. Protect them from who? Other Muslims. Because they're like pigs chasing after the woman. They can't handle themselves. But the, by example of the Prophet Muhammad, he beat her. Now, if anybody doesn't know, Muhammad married Aisha when she was six years old, consummated the marriage at nine when he was 53 years old. So let's say this was around when she was 10 or 12. We'll say 12. We'll be generous. And this means... So Muhammad is like 60-something by now. 60 years old, beating a little 12-year-old girl? What a filthy, low-class man. He is no prophet of God, and don't ever let the Muslims fool you, Christians. The things which any of the prayers were mentioned before me, they said, here's another verse, talking about something you will see that shows women in Islam. Prayers annulled by a dog, a donkey, and a woman. If they pass in front of the praying people, I said, You have made us, i.e. women, dogs. I saw the prophet praying while I used to lie in my bed between him and the quibla. Whenever I was in need of something, I would slip away, for I disliked to face him. The Book of Sutra Number 491, narrated by Isha. So your your prayers, this is making women equal to a dog and a doggy. In fact, there's another hadith I can show that says that the Muslim man touching a woman, an unclean animal, and shit will make him unclean for a prayer. This is the word they're using, shit. I don't want to say shit. But it's what it says. Comparing your woman to shit. This is Islam. Don't ever let them fool you. They don't believe on that. And your people don't believe in that. So you are inviting trouble. You know, because of this, in America, in New York, no woman is safe after that. No woman is safe in France. During daytime, women have been raped in the street. And people just walk by. Looking the so maybe <laughs> this is not true. Women being raped in the street and people just walking by. They will go to jail. But what is the punishment for being raped by a woman in Islam? You need four witnesses against it. So if a man is alone with a woman, he can rape her. And you need four witnesses to even build a, a testimony. And both the man and the women are punished. They are enjoying themselves. Women is being raped. No, no. I said you are inviting it. Look, this modesty. The nuns, the nuns, the nuns, you know, the nuns, women Catholic Church. Nobody gives them a second look. If Mary, the mother of Jesus, came along, you won't give her a second look. But my dear sisters, those women on your cold coast, that's karma. Well, because. Mary is respected, and you just copied her for your religion. But in Islam, what is the punishment for being raped? I can even show you from the Quran, you can have sex with whatever your right hand possesses. So you can rape your slaves, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Where is the punishment for rape in Islam? There are millions of women who give testimony in the Middle East about rape case victims. And they have no justice. You see how they do love to lie to people in the West? 
who don't know anything about Islam? And all that with bikinis and bangas and G-strings. Look, sure. This doesn't mean in Christianity it's allowing G-strings. We live in the West. And we live in a free country because if you read the parable of the prodigal son, God allows us our freedom. But unfortunately, we Christians are appalled at what's going on. But unfortunately, we have to deal with it because we live in a free country where God gives us choice, choices on what we can and cannot do. We're not a slave as you guys are to Islam. We freely choose to follow the Messiah. And that shows another thing that proves Christianity. All the Christians in the West, the millions of people who follow it, are there freely because they love to. In the Middle East, if you leave Islam, the punishment is death. 9 verse 27. Which means they're there because they're slaves, and a lot of them are there who don't want to be. St. Paul says to put your bodies in subjugation to yourself and be self-controlled. This is not contrary to the biblical teaching. But see how he wants to play it off and make it like it is? But what about Islam? You could have four wives. What about your heaven where the women will just be a sex slave for you? What is the reward for a woman in heaven? In Islam? Jesus... The Holy One says, you will not be married nor given in marriage. Allah the pimp offers you women and boys who don't bleed, who are pearls, slave boys in the heaven of Allah. We have seven out of the 55 biblical prophets are women. How many prophets are there in Islam? They say there is... 225,000. Not one of them is a woman. Don't ever let these Muslims fool you, Christians. Do the research. Read your Bible. Read what he's saying. Don't just take it by what he says. Yeah, n number one women given for the men in Islam. Four wives. So, wh what are you trying to say? What's the big deal? <laughs> he's trying to make a point, but he's making himself and his religion look stupid. Okay, I'm out of time. He's just giving a story. He's just giving a story. You can watch it on your own. Jesus is Lord. Islam gives no rights for the women. They have no reward in heaven. Which means our God is not the same God. Don't ever let Muslims fool you. If we say Jesus is God, 
then Allah is not God. Don't even try and compare the Holy One with this filthy, corrupt religion that was made by the man for the penis of the man. And no equal rights. Don't ever let them fool you. Jesus is Lord. Islam is made by the dummies for the dummies. Amen.